हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर ओवरलोडिंग इन सी प्लस प्लस इज यूज टू कंपेयर मेनी ऑफ द बिल्ट इन डेटा टाइप्स इन सी प्लस प्लस वी कैन ओवरलोड रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स लाइक ग्रेटर देन लेस देन greater than equal to less than equal to and is equal to to directly manipulate the object of the class these are the relational operators supported by c++ language which are used to compare c++ built in data types we can overload any of these operators which can be used to compare the object of a class let us see the code for a relational operator overloading greater than or less than first of all create a class emp is the name of the class and class having one public data member s and one public parameterized constructor is there that initialize the member of a class after that define the operator function in this case we are overloading greater than operator first of all greater than is a relational operator that compare values of two operands the syntax for operator overloading is return type now in this case we are using bool as a return type bool is a keyword for boolean data type that takes only two values either true or false then operator keyword then operator symbol then pass the argument emp is the name of the class and e is the object as a argument now in this case return type is bool boolean data types takes only two values either true or false compare the value of s with value of e dot s if value of s is greater than the value of e dot s if this condition is true then operator function return true otherwise operator function return false class end with the closing curly braces and semicolon now inside the main function create the object of class emp is the name of the class e1 is the object class having the parameterized constructor constructor when object of class is created constructor called automatically the value of e1 is 1200 create one more object when object of class is created constructor called automatically there is no need to call the constructor function now with the help of operator overloading we can perform the operation on object now put the condition if e1 the value of object 1 is greater than value of object 
if this condition is true then c out even salary is greater even salary is greater than e2 if this condition is true if this condition become false then c out even salary is less than e2 now run this code after the execution of this code the output is e1 salary is less than e2 e1 the value of e1 is 1200 and value of e2 is 1300 now 1200 is greater than 1300 condition is a value to be false then the output is e1 salary is less than e2 else part is to be evaluated now the value of e1 is 1200 Twelve hundred is greater than value of E dot S. Value of E dot S is thirteen hundred. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then else part is to be evaluated. Return false. Control back to the main function. Then return the. even salary is less than e2 onto the screen similarly we can overload less than operator just change the symbol less than in operator function change the condition if s is less than e dot s if this condition is true then return true otherwise return false now run this code now after the execution of this code the output is e1 salary is less than e2 the value of e1 is 1200 1200 is less than 1300 condition is evaluated to be true e1 salary is less than e2 this message is to be printed on to the screen with the help of operator overloading operation on user defined type is possible this is all about the overloading of relational operators less than or greater than